Not bad. All right, today we're taking a look at the Velo Wave Ranger e-bike. This is a fat tire e-bike, 750 watt motor, 48 volt, 15 AH battery. This is more of a budget friendly at $1,600 or so currently as it sits. Obviously, you know, years after this video is posted, it's gonna be different. Let's just get it out of the box real quick and then I'll show you guys around it, what it looks like, and we'll see how it does. All right, so here it is, the Velo Wave e-bike. I will say this is a simple but very clean looking fat tire bike. It has a very rugged and a very heavy presence to it. It has a lot of the same equipment, obviously, as a lot of the other bikes in this price category. It is a bigger frame than a lot of the other bikes in this price category, though, and it does have front suspension as well, so that's a huge perk. It doesn't have rear suspension, but usually you don't really feel that too much, especially on fat tire bikes in the rear. The display is small but nice as well. It gives you a friendly little welcome sign here and then it turns on the menu. You guys can see we're at 100%. I let it charge overnight. We have 0.2 mile on the odometer. So obviously you can control your speed settings here, the pedal assist. So yeah, basic menu, but still pretty cool for how small the display is. Usually if you have a smaller display, you just have a little black and white, uh, I don't know what you call them, little little LCD screen that doesn't really tell you much. This does have hydraulic brakes, so that's nice. It does have adjustable suspension, and this is a 750 watt Baffang motor. It does have a removable battery as well. So yeah, it's about what you'd expect, at least at first glance, from a bike that is about $1,600. But I think this bike is gonna shine more in the performance and the actual ride quality. So let's get this thing out on the road. Let's give this thing a first ride, first impression type thing, and then I'm gonna get it out on the road and do an extended range test today as well. Make this an all-in-one video on this bike. See if it's good, see if it's not. So let's get this thing out to the road and let's see what it does. First impression time, let's do it. All right, riding the Velo Wave e-bike. Again, this is a 48 volt, 750 watt motor battery combo. I believe it looks like it's electronically limited to 20 miles per hour like every other e-bike is coming straight from the factory. So I need to go to AutoZone right now. So I'm gonna just head over there, get a little bit of street experience on it real quick, just for the first initial test on it. Right off the bat, it's a nice, smooth, comfortable ride. There's nothing, uh, so far no major complaints besides, you know, me being used to doing 40 miles per hour on everything. <laughs> 20 miles per hour obviously just seems like a bike to me but still that's not a bad thing that's not a bad thing it is legal to be riding a 20 mile per hour e-bike whereas most of the testing i do is technically not legal so 20 miles per hour i will see if i can take the limiter off and see what it actually tops out at yeah so far a nice smooth ride nothing crazy nothing concerning you know nothing bad it's a really smooth ride just cruising around at 20 miles per hour so i'm here to pick up a car remote battery always gotta love when those things go out yeah i don't know if i can figure this out usually you just hold down the plus and minus buttons and it takes you to a settings menu looks like it's not doing much i'm gonna try holding down various oh frick not that <laughs> various key combinations but nah it's not yeah it's not doing anything okay cool well i'm gonna be cruising around at 20 miles per hour today and uh, i mean that'll help out with range so i mean there's that <laughs> nothing crazy but it's a nice smooth ride so and overall i do like the style the paint is nice and uh it's just a it's a good looking bike it's simple but it's a good looking bike and it does have uh, a bunch of like little places to put drink holders and whatnot so I guess that's a perk as far as practicality goes I would say the front suspension mixed with the fat tire is probably one of the best combinations of equipment 
in this price category. It's a really smooth ride. It's a really smooth ride. I'm actually very impressed with that. Yeah, this feels great. So there you have it. That is, uh, out. I mean, it's a good bike for so far for $1,600. I got to test out, before I say that, I got to test out the actual range and everything I'm getting. So yeah, let's go, uh, let's get this thing on an extended test ride and then we will go from there. You guys can see I just reset the trip odometer. So I'm going to get this thing on an extended test ride. I won't bring you guys along for much of that, but I will let you guys know the results as soon as I get back. Let's see how far this thing will take me on one charge. All right, we just finished killing it at 22.6 miles. It's at 9%, but it's pretty much too sluggish to actually ride. It will still assist you, but it wouldn't really hold, hold the top speed anymore. So quickly, I want to show you the headlight too. Works really great. All right, well, I just got back from two nights of riding this thing. We got 22.6 miles out of one charge. This thing is electronically limited at 20 miles per hour. I couldn't personally figure out how to unlock it, if you can or not. Um, so there's that. It does do 20 miles per hour for about 22.6 miles. But I never showed you guys really riding down the street, so I'm just gonna hop on real quick and we'll just rip it around, see how the brakes work and whatnot. Oh, I forgot to mention too, when I'm riding this, it's full throttle only. I'm not pedaling, I'm not doing anything. So it's basically riding it like a motorcycle on the electric motor and drivetrain. Uh, we got 22.6 miles. Just wanted to throw that out there right now. No pedaling. All right, let's see how the brakes work. Let's see how it looks. All right, I'm gonna do an all stop. Not bad, not too bad. Okay, all right, all right. That's about what you'd expect. It is nice brakes, they're hydraulics brakes, so it's, it's not bad. All right, so my final thoughts on this thing basically is it's about what you expect for a $1,600 e-bike. Remember how cheap that is, $1,600 is not that much for a bike. I mean, road bikes, decent mountain bikes, road bikes go for that much all day. So having an electric assist drivetrain as well on a bike with, that has hydraulic brakes, front suspension, it's a full size frame. And so you are getting a pretty nice, big, good ride quality bike for $1,600. So now comparing it to other electric bikes in the $1,600 range, this is a full size bike with a lot of good components on it, but you are locked in at 20 miles per hour. 19.8 is what it was limiting me at, at least that's what it read. A lot of other e-bikes in this price range category do go a little bit faster, 22 to 28 miles per hour, but a lot of those are smaller frames, like the G-Force e-bike was a little quicker than this, but it's a smaller frame. So between bikes in that price range, obviously there's trade-offs. If you want it to be faster and quicker, sporty or whatever, usually you're getting a smaller bike. But if you get a full size bike, there's other trade-offs as far as components or drivetrain or speed or whatever. So this is a full size e-bike, $1,600, hydraulic brakes, front suspension, and just an overall good riding experience. It does have also the twist shift, which I personally like a lot better. It looks a lot better than just the other shifter mechanism. I don't know what they're called, but yeah. Um, this one does actually have a really nice headlight on it too. I forgot to mention that. Pedaling it is about like every other e-bike. It's really not that hard to do. And this bike is decently light for, uh, for how big it is as well. It's not too bad. I'd say it's like 45 pounds maybe. I think that's pretty much it. That's my final thoughts. Uh, it's a good e-bike for $1,600. I know it is a chunk of change. Not everybody's just dropping $1,600 on everything, obviously. But if you're looking to get a good electric bike, this is a good electric bike, but obviously comparing it to other e-bikes I have or I have ridden in the past, obviously there's trade-offs either way. So this, I would prefer it goes a few miles per hour faster, but you are getting longer range distance if you are locked in at a slightly lower speed than what it could do. So there's just trade-offs either way. Again, today was just a real world test, see what we actually got. So we got 22.6 miles on one charge and we're doing about 20 miles per hour. That's the most important spec, so that's all I care about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it informative and helpful. If you guys are looking into the Velo Wave e-bike, there's a link in the description if you wanna check it out more. If you're in the e-bike game right now and you wanna check out some e-bikes, 
this, you know, check this one out. <laughs> All right, that's it. I hope you guys found this video informative. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's pretty much it. Okay, bye. <laughs>